Welcome everybody. Welcome back to this channel. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a great video. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's kind of a special one. It is. Because this particular one is on one of my dolls and she is, she's new to me. She's a P93, which means she's 21 inches tall. And she's an ideal Tony doll with black, black hair. hair and blue eyes. And guess what? I fell in love with her face. I couldn't help myself. She fell in love with her face, but she didn't know that this doll had catastrophic damage. Yeah, she had a couple of <laughs> issues. Couple issues? More than issues. Mm -hmm. Yes. Poor baby had a crack up the side of her face. I paused. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh but then you know you wanted to know she's had some luck with fixing a crack in the past so she thought that was, she'd give it a shot because she loved her face so much she looked like sleeping beauty she does she looks like sleeping beauty we kind of nicknamed her aurora because she's sleeping beauty but you fixed her didn't you well, we asked the lady for more pictures, and when the lady actually moved her hair, she found that there was a similar crack up the other side. The other side. Yeah. But you fixed her. Yes, it was a huge challenge, I got to yes, tell you. it was but, a challenge. But, but she's together. She is. <laughs> and it's going to be a very interesting video because you guys are going to see how we fix some cracks and we actually never filmed, done that before. We have never filmed the process. We have filmed the results but we never filmed the process and this time it's three of us my husband oh yeah it took it, myself it, it took the three of us to do this and so. you'll see why it took the three of us it's, to do this doll to put her back together again not necessarily a diy project but you know if you want to give it a shot that's totally up to you are you ready to go show everybody oh absolutely i've she's been waiting so for lovely. this she's so lovely yeah you ready here we go well, here's a little lady that has had a catastrophic injuries. And they kind of were made worse by the shipping process because the really tight um, uh, stringing pulled, pushed her head up to split her head even more. I don't think I've ever seen a doll that damaged. And on this side, it comes to here. And it was quite a ways apart. I kind of, I tried to release it as soon as I found that it was damaging it more. When we opened the box, I, I um, released some of the pressure. Well, in case anybody doesn't know what this little girl is, and she's not a little girl, she's a big girl. She is an ideal Tony doll from the 1950s, and she's a P93, which means she's 21 inches tall. And she's beautiful, but she's in very in G1. Look at the top of her head. We noticed this in the photograph. She's only got one strip left. Here's the other piece. Shantae is very good at this. You mean putting back in the, the she'll stitches? Put, she'll put back in and put yeah, back in the know, second row. And, and so what we were doing was opening the box to check her wig, uh, thinking we were going to find what we saw in the photographs, which we did not. We found her much worse than in the photographs. So we it's emergency surgery is actually what it is. So I've got to get in and I've got to snip the uh, cording and she is corded with a heavy cording can you see that mm -hmm. and it is putting such a ring on the doll on her head now that released the pressure a little bit did you notice now i can get so this must be a one string we must use one cord to go around or it wouldn't release the pressure so it wasn't a two string, it was a one. Sorry for being so. <sighs> Emotional. Seeing a doll in this condition uh, being stretched and broken even more. Mm -hmm. 
now that her stringing has been it released, hasn't been totally re released well but we're going to look inside her head i want you to look inside a yes. key ring uh, gee we removed the key ring which was difficult which was difficult because um, we could have damaged and it should be two parts instead of yeah we're trying to keep her head together and at least fix, at some point it, and try to fix the cracks on her head without her head coming completely apart right and I would like to show people well we put the bit rubber band on so that we can manipulate her head a little bit do you see that now, if you go inside, can you see inside there? Yes, I can see it. Do you see it's all flaked? This is all flaked. It was an adequate. It was not an adequate glue to hold the style together. And so I'll, um, it goes way up into... There's a circle up here somewhere. Okay, there it is. That crack here goes way up into here. That's the second crack. This was the first crack that we saw online. And that crack will actually go back together better. You can see I, I have to clean off the old glue to, to try to get a tight fit. You see, it doesn't want to fit before we can do any of the other kind of stuff. So she has a lot of cleaning to be done. But to save her hair, we have to do this. You can see that it's pulled away here. So all this, and then we have to go through and remove her, maybe her whole wig, repair it while we repair her head. I'm sorry for my emotions, but when I see more damage being done to a doll, um, I just get a little emotional. Well, here's our beautiful Sleeping Beauty. I like that. <laughs> and now I'm not panicked. I was when I opened the box. Yeah, we were a little panicked because, you know, when we saw her in the photographs, those, oh my God. <laughs> those cracks were not open the way they were. They were like that. Well, that's the way they were when we saw them, but when they were in the pictures, they were not open. No, actually, one was sealed still, mm -hmm. and one was only open maybe so far. And they were like, it would have, oh, I can explain what happened. And this is the explanation. This was what she was uh, strung with. A which, little bit of overkill. Very, very much overkill. And I will give you an example. I don't need anything more than that if you're going to use cording. Uh, but anyway, it was so tight. It, you can over tighten your doll when you use cording. So what would it, what it done? It did, excuse me, my English. What it had it, it happened was this cording was so tight it was pulling her down onto her neck where it, it widened at the base of her neck and it was, it was causing those those, those uh, cracks, cracks to spread and it almost broke her head in half in half mm -hmm. and it was like finding a child being strangled in a cord and all i was doing was panicking to find a pair of scissors to cut the cord right <laughs> i was in total panic stage yeah okay so let's see let's so go past that now uh, you have done a few things with her. Yes. So now that we've moved past the panic stage, and I was able to feel with my fingers where the cracks actually ended. How, yeah, how, 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 much how high they were. On her head. Yeah, determined whether I had to remove her wig, which is a beautiful wig. This only repairs that need to be made. Yep, that's something I will do. And Chante is so perfect at it. Not um, perfect, but I do my best. You're perfect at it. Mm -mm, no. Okay. Anyway, so now for some people, it'll upset them. But um, if this is going to upset you, then I suggest you don't look. But we did have to remove her wig. 
Hmm. There's quite a bit of gold. So how did you do that? With I used a utility, very fine utility knife, and I'd put it against the uh, get it, make sure it was under on uh, between the head and here, mm -hmm. the web cap, and then so I would, would bend it backwards to try and and, and gently. Bend this backwards. Because you wanted the wig cap I, to come off and not stay stuck to her right, head. Right. I just didn't want to and do And it any. was very stuck to her head. Normally, you could this see. kind of wig, the way that it was stuck to her head, it would never have been removed. Because she's because she has so much damage, it had to be. Yes, and we will show you now. I'm going to... I will repair, uh, do repairs of a uh -huh. gauze in right. here. So, because I do not want this hair, this hair, or this hair glued to her head. Right. So that will be done. That that's a couple extra hairs. There. But you know, she is. She has a beautiful black wig. She, that wig is fantastic. It's it's, it's just magnificent. Um, so, so let's see the cracks. These are the cracks, um, mm. and it goes up to here. And then we have. No, nope, go back. I, we didn't see that. I'm so sorry. A little too quick. Oh no! Don't 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 do that! I just want to see I'm where not it hurting ends. Anything, sweetheart. I just want to see where it ends. Point it, it out. It ends right here. Okay. Now let's see the other one. And on this one. Well, this is the original one that we saw. Yes. Until we asked for more photographs. Right. And then and then the she was owner, very sweet. Oh, and the owner's lovely, and that's the daughter, and she does not know her origin. She just knows that her mother displayed her, and then she displayed her with all that hair. Who would know? Right. So let's see how high the crack goes on this side. It goes right up to here. Mm -hmm. And which, because of both of them, I had to remove right. the wig to do a proper repair. Okay, so she, wait a minute, let's see, go back to that other crack. Which you one? Can see, no, this one right this here. This one right here, okay. Yeah, so you can see right here. This is some that of the is residue of the, of the glue. Right. Mm -hmm. And we can go inside. The, oh, the glue that, that someone used as a Yeah, we repair, don't hair. We're not sure not what it was, stay. but can you see any red in there, yes, guys? Yes, well, can. we can. Yes. Okay, well, here, we're going to set her head aside, and we're going to show you just a small amount of residue. So all the glue had turned to powder. Mm, so it was a reddish-brown color. It was, a, and, and this is just, this is probably an eighth of what I took off. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted to show you, this was me trying to clean up the residue because her entire head was filled with powder Right. as I'm trying to remove the And you don't want to have powder on her head or the repair that we are going to so do. So I'm going to fold this over because I took it all over. It won't stick. No, our repair, here, here's your other ribbon. Um, it won't stick with what we're going to do. So there was residue here. You can see a little bit left of it, but I have taking care of it inside is we're going to use an epoxy it'll be a, like a, a strong hand holding her head together on either side. side and it only will be in here it will not interfere with any of her mechanisms and no one will ever know it's there and when she's unless done, they take her head off unless they were to take her head off but then i have but i'm not going to take her head off so it really isn't going to matter. no but i have taken <laughs> off doll's heads before that have not been cracked and you wouldn't believe what comes oh, from the well, factory yeah, i know well hey <laughs> so, listen I've, what we're doing is nothing compared to what some of the factories some of the things does. that i've seen that people did to rep make repairs yes is quite amazing so with this little girl what we're going to do because there's two cracks it's not going to be as stable to, to fix the cracks at the same time. And so I'll, I'll, you're I'll, going to also, use some... I'm going to explain something. Okay, go for it. To get her head to be, to be perfectly in, I have to push down, I have to pull down, I have to push in. And that I can't accomplish with a clamp. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Well, I she, only can accomplish with my own hands. So what you're going to do. So I had an idea. And I. <laughs> the only thing I could think of is what could hold it for a short period of time. Until the epoxy. will show it. So it is. I'm going to use a little super glue because I don't want any kind of thickness in here. I tried it on 
a dowel that had already been broken mm -hmm. that is only used for uh, teaching and to see if it would hold. Mm -hmm. And it did. Okay. So what I'm going to try and do is use a little bit of that. This is not to repair the dowel. No. This is only to keep it in position that I need it in until the, I'm sorry, until the epoxy does its work inside. Right. It's so that you can do the repair work on the inside, inside. without causing any more damage. On the outside. Yeah. Okay. So. So uh, that's what this is going to be for. So it's not a repair, people. Please do not repair it's a super glue okay um you can't guarantee that it that it, if there's any pressure on it that it, it will hold and of course you can see there's much pressure that has to be applied um mm -hmm. to the it, so once i get one side done uh, um then i i'm going to attempt to do the other side but before i do any of that sleeping beauty needs her face protected I took some tissue paper and some foam and I put a piece of cellophane because you never know what you're going to run into, liquid of any kind. And I am going to put a piece of, uh, what is this? Felt. It's kind of like felt. No, it's. No, it's, no, it, it's not felt. It's, I can't remember the name, it doesn't matter. Well, I'll put it up on the screen when I Because she'll figure it, it out because we use it for the gliders all the time. Okay. And I am going to cover her head. Her face. It's fleece. Fleece, that's right. Okay, so I am going to cover it and I'm going to take tape. And so as we're manipulating and doing all this stuff, we're not going to have to worry. See how it's sliding around. We're not going to have to worry about doing any more damage or any damage because her face is perfect. Don't do that. Um, and so I'm going to protect her face. So here we are. I have protected her face uh, and we are going to do one repair at a time. This one will be the second repair. The one behind the ear is going to be our first repair and this will take days to cure. So this is going to be, it's going to be a long process. It's going to be a long process, but when it's done, it will be super strong and it won't break even if you drop the doll. Okay. So what I'm going to do is this has already been opened, which is to our advantage because if, if, if any of you know, once you open one of these, any air gets to it, it starts to thicken. And, and so this is already cannot come out the thing, it, uh, the top. I'm going to see, you can see in there. Mm -hmm. You see that it's thick. Yep. Okay. That's going to be to our advantage for this particular, um, uh, what do you call it? Repair. This is not going to repair. And I'm going to explain to you that we used it on another um, plastic head that was for teaching. And I told you that it did stick. And we, then we let it drop to the floor and it, the, it broke. Mm -hmm. So that's to prove to all of you, this is not a repair. This is a tool for us right now to keep it in alignment until we can get the uh, right. epoxy to hold it in place. So now that we've put a little of the super glue on it, uh, I have run my nails across as much as I can. I'm, every muscle in my shoulder, back, and arms and fingers it is taking to hold this in alignment. And You, you see that it wants to let go every time I move. So I got to hold this. There's no this ways or that's about it. There's nothing that can pull and push and lift at the same time but my own hands. So we're going to wait until it gets dry enough that she can let go. And that could take a while. A while. Next, the next step is the um, epoxy that goes inside of the doll's head along the crack. Uh, and you have to go generously on either side of that crack. Because you'll show that when we do it. it together. So what are these? So this is um, JB epo uh, Weld Epoxy. And you make, make, mix equal amounts of each one um, parts of the tube uh, in each tube. And then I take, and it sets up so fast. So who's going to do it? My husband, 
who is Tom over here, he's going to mix the epoxy. And if it dries and I need more epoxy, then he will mix more epoxy for me okay. until I get it right. Here we go. Okay, we're going to remove the, the covers. As you can see, it's gooey. We're going to put equal amounts, like a string, right here. We don't do too much, otherwise it'll just set up and you waste it. It costs around $8 or so for these two tubes. They do quite a bit. So now we got to do this. String. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but run it as close as you can. Now, if you notice, it's going to start changing to a to a gray. When it started out black, one of them, and I don't know what the other color was a different color. It was white. White, and now we're going to, once it gets all gray and the mix thoroughly, this is how much we have to work with. And now we're going to give it to Sharon. I'm desperately have to work fast. I'm taking the stuff that's on the outside because it's going to set up quicker. I'm going to put that in here. So I don't waste it all. Yeah, well, we think we got the idea. We're going to see you in a minute. Well, here we are with the super glue. And you can run your fingers across it, and you can see that it is almost perfectly level and in position that it should be in, and the crack goes way up here. Okay, when I tried, when I was holding it, and I tried to bring this together a little bit, it shifted this. Because it isn't completely set yet. And so that means we're going to have to completely epoxy in here and have this side totally done which could take oh at least two weeks well here it is it's a race because it sets up so fast um and i didn't have to make any more because we want this to set up it'll become very it'll be smooth right well, this is the first application so this is this is the first application and we'll let that cure what two days three days uh, a day, at, least a day. at least a day um, but I think I'm going to go two days. <laughs> anyway, um, then we'll put another application and spread it further out. And then we'll do the same thing. We might, I think we only did it twice on the, on the P93 with a big crack in her head. I think we only did two. Thicker. Yeah, but we did it a lot thicker. And so the next coat will be thicker than this coat. This is just to keep this where it needs to be. Well, you know what? It's only going to be a few seconds for them, but it's going to be a few days for us. So it will be. We'll see you in a few days, but actually it's a few seconds. <laughs> well, see, I told you that was only a few, couple of seconds. <laughs> it's been what, two, three days? Two days. <laughs> two days? Yep. Let's take a look in there. See how shiny it is in there? And it's just as shiny. I will have to sand it again before we um, add second. Don't I have to sand it again, Tom, before we add a second coat? I would, yeah. Yes, I'll just run a little sandpaper over it. Okay, but I wanted to show everybody this is the this product is that we're using in the package because sometimes that's helpful. Of course, you don't have to use this particular. They also have larger sizes. Oh, I, as you heard, they also have larger sizes, but you don't have to use this particular, what's it called again? Maybe well. Epoxy. Epoxy. You don't have to use this particular epoxy, but this has worked for us. And this is how, this is where the, the, end of the crack is way up here and you can see what it's going to um preliminary you know say preliminarily it. look yeah. like mm -hmm. until shanti does her magic but you can see that it's drawn together so far so and far so good so, so, far, so you so do good. your sanding and then we will show them getting it put on yes okay so i just sanded 
the inside. Well, let's see. And you can see that I've sanded it. Do yep. you see that white light part? And I also sanded along the edge of so uh, of the doll head so that because I'm going to expand this epoxy past this original strip. Okay, and the um, sandpaper is 100 grit. It's, yeah, I used 100 grit. And so, are you ready? He's got to mix it. I'm ready, Freddie. <laughs> Cute. I forgot to say that you need to clean out the residue from the sanding. Wipe it out. Wipe it out, and not with water. And if you have a another crack like I do, you'll... <laughs> But actually, run your finger in and, and, and make sure. I use paper towel. You can use a um, microfiber, cloth. microfiber cloth. But you want to make sure that when you put your fingers in there, there is no um, residue. Residue, Okay? And I hope you don't have another crack in your doll's head so you can blow through like I do. <laughs> okay. You're funny <laughs> enough. Okay. There we go. So the race is on. The race is on. And Once I, you uh, combine those two you only compounds, have you have six, a... Six minutes and it's dry. And if you can hear seven. him, it says he said six minutes before it's completely dry. And I'm going on either side, over the original and onto the doll. But you must notice that she's only getting it on the crack. It's not getting on her center bar. She's not getting... Oh, it. no. I'm not touching anything of any... That, you know, No eyes, board. nothing. It's only on the crack. That's it. And I'm, what I'm trying to do is have no big big lumps. I'm trying to smooth it out as and much I'm as trying you can. To smooth and it you out. did just get it on the bar. I did get it on the bar? You did. Well, then I'll take it off with my finger and take the consequences. Because <sighs> nothing goes on anything else. Okay. So, right, now you can see... One. You want this nope, we have enough. Can you folks see? Yep, we can see. And I spread it out, and that is the last. This will set for a couple of days. And oh, the other thing, you can see there's a little drip here. I wipe it off. What was on the bar is. Where's the nose? I don't want it on. I want it perfect. You can see that a little of it is right here. I just take it off before it sets. And so this side in two days will be complete for the, the stage. It might be two days for us, but it's going to be a few <laughs> seconds for them. So the next time you see us, we'll be putting on the last coat of epoxy on this side. Yes. No, I'm not going to put another coat. Oh, you're not? No, just two coats because that's what we did with P93. The other one, it worked oh, well. Oh, so she's got all her coats. So then we start on this side. All right. I think that's a plan. And we're going to see you in a few seconds. But for us, it's a few days. Yes. So here we are again. Um, this has been sitting for maybe three or four days. I don't even know. It didn't count. I think um, for them it's only been a few seconds. Yes, well, for us it's been a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> so the crack goes from here to here, and you can see it's pretty it's pretty well lined up. Let's see the inside. And the inside, I was going to do an extra coat, and everything in my guts told me not to do it. An extra coat, so that's why it's two different colors and not just smooth and shiny. But that's okay, it doesn't matter, nobody will ever see that. And if you notice, what? it is not touching anything except for... The plastic. Yes. It's not touching her eyes. It's not touching her bar. And there's her bar. Yep. Okay. So when all this on the is, other side. So this side, the same thing's going to happen. Nothing's going to touch her eyes. The crack goes, if you can see, the crack goes way up. Let's see if I can point. Way up to here. Mm-hmm. And so that point goes way up to here. Up to here. Mm-hmm. And we're going to have to close this side now. This isn't quite as easy because now, because the other side is closed, there's much more tension. But we're going to do the same procedure and hope that it works. I'm going to use super glue for a tool. And the tool is only to provide me the ability to be able to to keep the crack shut. They keep the crack shut. And in 
the proper position uh, to be able to apply the epoxy. Just like in the other one. Just, yes, a repeat of the other one. So what I'm going to do is just, because you don't want to use a lot of super glue because then your muscles will be aching. <laughs> Trying to hold it together till it dries. So what I'm going to do is, because I have an easy access to this side of the crack, I'm going to put a little super glue here, a little super glue here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and all the way down. And then I'm going to use all the power I got, which isn't much. And I'm going to hold that in position, which would be this position, mm -hmm. until that super glue um, dries because you can see it keeps wanting to shift like this, up, down, up, or, or back and forth. Okay, so let's do it. <sighs> okay. Well, that's quite a contraption. <laughs> it is. What happened was, even this is the first one we did, we, we did use super glue to, to get this beautiful uh, join, joint. And then when we went to do this one, the, it, 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 I couldn't hold it, it couldn't hold it. The super glue could not hold it because there, there's tension when you're pulling it together where there wasn't tension here because this was separated. Right. So what did you do? Let's show everybody so what you did. What I did was I, I, this, this has not been sanded yet, but what I did was because it was killing me trying to hold it, push this way, pull that way, you know, to get this thing in, in alignment. Um, I, I use the super glue. It would not hold, mm -hmm. and I'm 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 actually begging for help because my arms are giving out, and so then I tried from Dow Parts. I tried Sheer Grip, which is a, a a glue I use to put wigs on, and it um, it's, it's white, but it turns clear when it's dry. So I I was desperate. So I tried it twice with super glue. Then I tried it once with right. Sheer Grip. Sure grip held it long enough for us to be able to get this contraption. These are radiator clamps. Mm -hmm. And all of this is to protect eyes, face. There's a ton of stuff here to protect your face. And what did you say, Tom? The radiator hose clamps. The radiator hose clamps. And they come in different sizes, of course. And so we got those on to give my arms a rest. And we can, you tighten it with a screw right here. Mm -hmm. But we might make sure that it really isn't, that the clamp is not directly over her eyes. Absolutely. This is her nose and mouth right here. This is above her eyes. But there is a little pressure because you can see in here. There is a little pressure on her eyes. But that is not going to affect them. And even if it did, it's just a easy fix. Okay. So now you are going to put the second coat. Oh, because oh, oh so we forgot I, to sell it. We had to put a coat of the of of the epoxy on, mm -hmm. which is right here. You can see it hasn't been sanded. Right. Oh shoot, it hasn't been sanded. That means I have to sand it. <laughs> I think you should go sand it and then we should put the next coat on it. Right. Well I just sanded um the first the first coat of epoxy. And the plastic around it, guys. And she got the dust. Yes. I, I couldn't both throw another crack, thank God. Anyway, uh, my husband thought I should mention that in buying radiator hose clamps uh, to try to get the right size, you can take two small ones and, and they join together. You can join two, three, four clamps together. So there isn't a struggle there to find the right size if you have that problem. Well, there you have it. There's her second coat. We want to see inside. I thought I would show you that now, and it hasn't been very long. We're talking minutes that it's already set up. It's setting up. Uh, I got to turn it a little, hon. I there can, we go. I can still move it a little bit and extend it. We don't know whether we're going to put another coat on or not. We might. 
No. I'm and we'll, she'll see after she has had a chance to dry for a few days. And yes. there's the part that has dried? Yep. And of course I have to work on her bar. All the bars are rusty in every doll. Um, anyhow, there you go. Okay. Oh, but you see I got a little bit on there. So remember, honey, what? I know I've said this, but it's going to be a few days for us, but it's only going to be a few seconds for them. Right. Isn't that lucky for them? Yeah. <laughs> well, here she is, and she's been the, the, the two cracks, which you can see. Here, here, they go way up. Um, we've put the epoxy in, and it's been drying for days. And so we can, we are going to release her from her bindings and then tell you what we're going to do next. So I'm just going to undo her. This was taking the strain off of the neck, um, the cracks. These, these, you mean while it was drying? While it was drying, yes. Because it takes days to, um, to really cure and we didn't want that stress on the cracks even though the epoxy was there it Is needed that screwdriver a bit over overkill yeah i think i think it was a bit overkill all right let's see so this crack was perfectly together you can see that i couldn't get um when i when I was doing all my holding, I just couldn't do all the pieces. I, I thought it more important to get it here and here and the crack. Well, it looks really here. good to me. Yeah, it, yeah, it's that it's we'll that's really whether, superficial. We will see whether it starts to have huh. any issues the longer it doesn't have the supports on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to uncover a face, and I'll tell you why. I wouldn't. The reason I'm not going to uncover her face is because I don't want to get any gunk on her. Right. Well, that's what it's there for, for anyway. And so explain what we're going to do next. <clears throat> well, we, we just we studied and studied it, my husband and I. What we think happened was, which happens with a lot of these dolls, because these dolls are put together, the front of the face and the back of the head. This is how they glue it. And that's how they do the whole bodies. Okay. And you'll find that a crack will come. Mm-hmm. So and you think that's from how the manufacturer. she got the other crack because there was um, too much tension there put was on too much tension. this crack and right. it caused another crack. That's right. Okay. So let's move on to the... And you can see the weakest point is where the, the dowels glued together. To right. With. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a small amount, very, very, very carefully of the epoxy on the outside, which you weren't going to do at first. No, it, we, no, but... but, na but I wanted you to. Dad did too. But the reason I didn't want to do it is because I didn't want to have to um, have you paint. But we don't think that just doing that on the inside is adequate enough. No, I agree. And we're just going to be very careful about putting it in the crack and not having a bulge because uh, painting over a bulge will be very... Um, no, I, it, yes. So we're just going to do our best to make it. And besides, like I said before, she's staying here. Right. I'm going to sand this. Okay. And I'm going to sand actually the smooth part. Mm -hmm. It's going to get sanded what here. What kind of sandpaper are you using? Huh? Well, I've got four different types right here. I don't know yet. Everybody thinks I know something. That I really don't. I learn as I go along. So see, you'll see that the it's different this is so what is it what grade is it i don't know look on the back it says face oh dear <laughs> that didn't help no i take what people leave in my house <laughs> that work you know like tom or brian or well, let's just put it this way they are different grades these are different grades and this is the finest and this is the next finest and then this this is heavier and this is the heaviest and so i'm going to um I'm going to um, figure it out as I go along, but I just want the people to know I'll probably use the finest here because this is where, even though we're going to put stuff on, I don't know. I don't know. You never know. And we have to have it. So you're going to sand it a little bit. Right. So that the epoxy will adhere. Right. And then um, 
after the epoxy has a chance to dry, yes. then you will sand it again. So here I've sanded both breaks. This break comes up here and up here and along here. And so I decided that this heavier stuff is 100 grit. And I decided that that was what I needed to do to sand on either side of this, this break. The, this, this lighter sanding, which is, uh, it's 400. I used to re to take, help take off the, the glue from the factory, which was slutford all over both ears. And so I used that. So you used the sandpaper and now, and then you wiped off the dust. I wipe off the dust and now I'm going to put, believe it or not, on both sides at the same time. Uh, so I'm going to do one side and then he's going to mix another batch and I'm going to do the other side. I will not go over this ear though. I will come down to here because the the pulling of the um, cording or bands. This is your weakest point. Here we go. I'm going to be very strategic and gentle and this um, epoxy will be um, set in six minutes. So she's not going to talk. <laughs> she's just going to frost a cake. Yeah. As gently as possible. We don't want a bunch of ridges. And it's really hard to get in here with this thing. I don't want to interfere with the ear in any way, shape, or well, form. You know, that, that those... Uh, Cake decorating skills can come in handy. And now we don't want this scene. You can see all these blobs, but it won't be like that when we're done. The importance of putting it on both sides is to grip it from both sides. Take away the weakness. The weak, most weakest points. Now I'm going to try and spread. It's okay to get it a little bit further towards the back of her head because it's going to be covered up with her with wig. hair. You just don't want to have a bunch of ridges on her forehead or on the side of her face. Not that it couldn't be sanded, but really don't want to have a bunch to sand when no. it as smooth as possible yet still doing a job, still doing the job of holding it on together. this side it's a little bit of a race against time yes it doesn't give you where's my other stick another stick it doesn't give you any time is what it is it's it's a fast moving and you don't want to take all that off of the crack, but you also don't want a huge lump either. I'm happy with that. You can see the, the break went right through here, then up into here, and the break was here, and we spread it out as far as we could without interfering in her face. We did not cover up our, her markings. Her markings. And then we go to the shoot. Then we go to the other side, and that's what we just did. Mm -hmm. Now she's going to dry for a few more days. Yes, and then she'll get sanded. We'll decide if we're going to we'll put decide. any and more if, if, on. If we do, her neck. it would be from here because this is the, the the smaller breaks are up here. The bigger break is from here to here, so we might want to give it a second coat from here to here and here right so, so we don't know yet we have to decide well we wanted to show you sleeping beauty's dress we the one she came in happened to be one for a baby doll so we found her this we wanted vintage mm -hmm. so we found this dress online it's a dotted swiss from the same era as sleeping beauty oh, it's pale pink it's pale pink but it's see-through so what I'm going to do is I've got a real fine fabric with some embroidery on it. I'm going to make her and line her 
her the front of her bodice, and I will line the back of her bonnet bodice. Uh, bodice. And then I am going to make her a uh, attached slim. Vin vintage mm -hmm. slim because I bought a bunch of vintage fabric. <laughs> So I'm going to give her her a vintage slip um, that will so it won't be see through anymore. It'll be white, mm -hmm. and it'll be gorgeous. This is but this is how we got it. It hasn't been washed. It hasn't been icy cleaned. We haven't done anything to it. We just showed you the dress that uh, Sleeping Beauty is going to be wearing when she's done. But this is the dress she came in. <laughs> Very different, and it very much big. <laughs> and huge. as you can see in this picture of her that uh well it's a it vintage. looked like it fit her <laughs> because it was all crumpled up <laughs> but now you can see because this is on this beautiful little f and b baby cuddle up which she was she was my very first style i got her when i was for my second christmas so actually honey what this is the young lady that started it all i guess maybe it could be this is my very, very first doll that I ever got. Yep. And I think she looks lovely, lovely in it. I do too. That's why I put her in it. It's vintage. It's, I didn't have clothes. Mom got me the doll. No clothes. <laughs> now she has lovely clothes. Now she has lovely clothes. Well, hello everyone. Here we're back again with the second layer of um, epoxy. I sand. Oh, by the way, I have a dusk mask on. They're different than the masks we all know about for the last few years that everybody had to wear. Uh, you want to get a mask that is for dust that men use for, you know, and women use for when they're doing dusty projects. Mm -hmm. So anyway, because uh, it's not good to inhale what we're doing. So first of all, you put on the first coat on the outside and you sanded it. And then I sanded it. And then you guys decided that it needed one more coat. Yes. And put that coat on. And now this is the final sanding. This is a final sanding. So what I did was um, use this heavier pa paper to take it down on the edges. It, oh, I sanded the whole thing. Actually, I've sanded. You can see how she's shiny here. I want her wig to really stick. And as long as it's off, I am sanding her entire. Okay, but we're gonna. So, wait. I have. I'm in sanding her entire head. Um, I'm staying away, of course, from where um, it says what she is. Her markings. Her markings. And now I have to do something for Shante since she's the artist, and she is going to be uh, making it look as if nothing has ever happened to her. You won't even be able to feel it with your fingers. Um, I'm blending, I blended it with the big paper first mm -hmm. to, to get the majority of it. So there won't be a lump. Right. So I blended it together and made it as flat as I could and, and it tapers up. Can't take too much off because there's where your crack is. Right. You want the stability. You just want to try and do your best to make it not as noticeable that there is a repair, a repair. And you won't see the gray because oh no 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 it will be it, no we're not painting her face though no 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 just, her face is perfect we're no. not touching her face no just the area that has, has the, been repaired the epoxy right well here we are um she's been painted where her wig isn't going to be all this was this and on the other side she's been painted where her wig yeah. isn't going to be. I did the painting because I had to um, make a color that would match the best that I could to her skin tone. And what I used to do that is a, let's see, there you go. It's called uh, Golden Fluid Acrylics. And this is not a typical... Um, Acrylic paint. Well, it's not a typical what's the word um craft paint no this is an artist's paint and i get it at um michael's but and and of course i took the i i made this color so it's not a color that you can go and buy 
I had to take all of the different colors that would make this color. And that would match her original coloring, right. which is down here. Yep. And after that, I'm going to seal this paint. With a clear coat. Yep. And this is where I get mine. I get it at the Kathy Lee Dell Hospital. It's called Clear Sealer. It works beautifully. It really does. I have used it on several things, and I'm very happy with it. So let's see her gorgeous face. Are you ready? Yep, let's see it. Oh, wait, down a little, hon. There we go. Yep. Isn't she beautiful? I think she's gorgeous. Now we're going to start working on her hair. Oh, by the way. What? We didn't do anything to her face. Oh, no, I just gave her a bath. Yeah, that's her original face. Yep. Her original coloring. She doesn't need anything painted. She needs nothing done to her face. Nope. She's beautiful. That's why I liked her so much. And can you believe that those cracks are not there anymore? <laughs> All this is going to be covered with her wig. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you'll see you nothing. Only, you'll see, you see nothing. You could only get it face. so smooth. You couldn't get it. If perfect. I if I did that, I was compromising the strength of holding the, the, the head together. Right. So I couldn't make it so smooth that otherwise I, I could have done her more damage. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to work on her hair. Yes. Go so ahead. this is a, a one of your dolls. This is my girl. One of two. She only has two black hair dolls. That's it. A P90 and a P91. I have more. Not a lot more, but I have more than you do because I like the, the, I like the black haired and I love the red hair. I probably have more dolls than you do. Yeah, <laughs> that's a definite too. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you, this is one of the interesting things about a Tony. They have this double stitch on the, in their uh, wigs. This is one of the things that makes them, uh, or how you can identify a Tony. And unfortunately, in uh, the, the case of our little Sleeping Beauty that you just looked at, Okay, turn it to the side, sweetie. Which side? Ah, got it. Okay. As you can see here, first of all, one of her rows of stitches has come loose. You can see the difference. And if you can see here, it is... Um, There's a loose one It's there. kind of loose. The, it's the very actual, loose. The actual nylon is loose. And I have been able to resew these seams. She resews them, and you can't tell that they were resewn. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to show you one. So as you can see, she only has one row of her original stitches left. There should be one right here. So what I did is I tried to match the color best that I could. This does not match completely, but it's all I had. So what I'm going to do is since this isn't attached to her head, I'm going to come up underneath it. But if it was on her head, I would just bring my stitching underneath here to start. And that's where my knot would start. So I believe that this is actually one thread that they used originally but i'm going to be using a double thread for strength because i want it to last a while and i don't have a thread that is this thick so what i'm going to do i went underneath her wig and i did the best that i could to start uh, where the other thread that broke is. So this is what I'm going to do, but it's going to be difficult because I'm a nearsighted person. <laughs> so I need to see it really. Did you just stick yourself? I did. I told you I'm nearsighted. So I'm coming up. Now, do you notice that what I'm doing is I'm using the other row as my guide. I'm going to come underneath 
that. I'm going to pull it through. And I'm going to come back over. And I'm going to go under that one to the next one. Can you see that? You're talking about the original one? Yep. We're going to move this over. So this is what's going to happen. I'm essentially doing a back stitch. So as you can see, this is my stitch. And I'm going to continue to put my thread underneath one and come up underneath the next one. <laughs> Any clips? Uh, I don't usually have this I issue. She's got a lot of hair. <laughs> yeah, well. And your long thread is dragging it. It is. Dragging the hair. Probably would have, a sh we should probably use a shorter thread. Yeah. Or clip there now. There you can see I have two stitches and they are on the same side by side with the original with the, stitch. with the original stitches. Now we will see whether these original stitches will hold. If they'll hold, I'll only need to do the one row. And you see how all of these hairs right here are um, they're not laying flat. What I'll have to do later after I have this new stitch line in is I'll have to pull them through, but that is probably another video. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what I'm going to do to, uh, and I'll show everybody when I'm done how it uh, is fixed. Well, she's back together. <laughs> she's all in one piece. <laughs> oh, minus her hair. Yeah, <laughs> but her hair is actually is actually ready to go. We, but yes. we'd like to show everybody. Um, should I should I rotate? Well, but first, I think right. we ought to. She actually graduated to the robe, <laughs> and she got bunny slippers. Oh yes, how cute! How cute are those? How cute are those bunny slippers? Oh. They're cute. Very cute. Hello, everyone. Yep, we aren't we, I beautiful. Yes, she is. <laughs> she was restrung, and if you'd like to see a video on how to how we restring dolls, you can see one on our channel, and there'll be one in a uh, link to it in the description in this video. So let's see. I wanted everybody oh, to see what because she's a big doll. Mm -hmm. I used a medium and two larges. <laughs> That's <was> very interesting. <laughs> it is. So let's see her cracks because she's actually been strung for a few days now. And I don't think she's having any issues. Oh, no, 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 no. She won't have any issues. It's pretty much impossible. Yep. As you can see, this ear isn't as smooth as I would like it to be. And I can show you by the other ear. See how beautiful that is? Well, the problem was, is they had gobs of goo, <laughs> glue from the factory. Mm -hmm. And that was a challenge to, mm -hmm. to get it that nice. So but she's go. all ready. She's ready for her hair. She sure is. I can't is. wait. I, I can't believe she made it this far. So when are we putting her hair on? Well, I think we ought to do it. Right now? Well, I think she would like to have her hair back. Would you like to have your hair back? She would. Yes, I would. <laughs> she's definitely going to look like our sleeping beauty, although the, uh, now she's awake. We're putting, yeah, I'm going to take her curlers out, then glue her wig on, and then we'll comb it out. So here is her wig. When I washed it, um, it was it was more fragile than we expected. And you washed it with, when it was not on her head. Oh, of course, it, yeah, of course. <laughs> we fixed her head. <laughs> I'm aware. I'm just you know recapping, okay, recapping. And as you can see, it's pretty. It's it's pretty. You can see the black hair through. This is gauze, and I and I, I just let everybody know I finished um, repairing the top of her wig, which you're going to show once it goes back on her head. Absolutely. And so, and I did see that there were uh, problems that um, I really needed to give her a new wig. Um, I didn't take the old wig cap off 
you can't do that. But what I did was I made a new wig cap and sewed to the glue and the wig cap that was still there. And what so, did you use? What do you mean, what did I use? I to make her a new wig cap. Oh, the gauze. This is some sort of a, a fabric gauze we get at um, Joann's. And you kind of The reason I left the, um, the these edges, because they're going to be glued down. Mm -hmm. But tell everybody how you actually made that. I made triangles. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. And you sewed them together. And I sewed them together. And then you hand sewed the... And uh, then wherever there was big patches of uh, original wood cap, I sewed this to that. Okay. So I think she is, well, let's first of all put it on her head. Okay, so, so I, I kind of figured out. You can get to see. So you can look in it here. Would look like. There is her. <laughs> so that's and that's what you're going to see when. The front of her head. Yeah. And so we just. Oh my goodness. She's got some curlers. Anyway, I've already, I've already had it on her head and looked around to see if I did the right, did the right thing with, with the wig cap. And it was perfect. It, it just worked perfect. So, you know, it doesn't always work perfect. And those are much bigger curlers than we've ever used before, but we're going for a less well, curly mm -hmm. well, do. Yeah. Curly, but not, not quite so tight. Right. Okay. I think we should do it. Well, she's one more step closer to having her hair done. Yeah. One more. So, what I wanted to show everybody is her part all the way done. And let's see. I have this? Yes. So, if you, as you can see, she has a double stitch all the way up. And what I had to do is there was a, the original stitch. That's was the original stitch right there. Right where? Right there. Yep. Well, I had to actually um, snip them because they were so uh, brittle. Yeah, they were just rotten. And there's a few like here. There's a few that are original. There's a few back here that are original. But for the most part, everything you're seeing are the ones that I put in. And what I did was I had to come in and give it a, a very gentle tug so that you have this even, all the hair is even. But maybe in a future video, I will just do one on fixing the that part of the wig. Who yeah. knows? And the little squeaking you're hearing is because she has been repainted and has nothing to do with her stringing. No squeaking. <laughs> it's her head. <laughs> and if, if someone wants to make that stop, which I don't want to make that stop because I did it once, put a little soap, dry soap. You know, just bar mm -hmm. soap, and then the head. And then you can't. The head will flop too often. Mm. So I wanted to to move, even though it squeaks a little. I wanted to wear down on its own. Well, I'm sure she has a lot to say. Yes, but I just wanted um, people to understand what they're hearing. The squeaking that is from her uh, her repairs, which will wear down in time. Okay, <laughs> so why don't we glue her? Yes. So, if you have never seen one of our videos before, um, hold this for me, would you? I was talking to the doubt of you. Mm. Well, fine. Uh, she listens. Oh, she <laughs> listens. Well, I know that you don't, so. <laughs> like mother, like daughter. Or is that like daughter, like mother? No, no. That's Let's like just mother. show everybody okay. what the glue is. Okay. Oh, that's right. Do, do, do. Okay. All right. I use I use Instagrip because it Instagrips. <laughs> it's pretty bad when you laugh at your own jokes. Oh, was that a joke? You didn't show it for very long. Let me see it. Uh, okay. Well, it's getting wore out. Yeah, but I, I I'm gonna. It. As I said with the with the link, I am also gonna put a link in for this glue. It says you Doll's can get part it at Doll's part, and it's got all this other information that's wearing out because oh. I use it. But um, it's it's white, but it does dry clear. Okay, so let's so just see it. I just want it to. You put a thin a thin coat. We've done it in another um, video. Yeah, 
but we'll do it again with this one because of what she's been through. And I'm going to do just the front first because the front is going to give me the um, uh, guide to how I'm going to do uh, the rest of her because I did have to redo her um, skull cap. So it, I might have to do some shifting. Who knows? And she's going to be very careful not to get it on the rest of her face. Oh, of course not. <sighs> but don't count on anything. <laughs> and we did sand here. It's all sanded. And we sanded it so that the glue would stick. And the reason that I did not paint everywhere that you can see the um, the repair is because you want the glue to have something to stick to. Yes, and sticking to the paint, it it doesn't make a very good foundation. And we sanded her entire skull uh, top because it was shiny. Uh, where they didn't put glue. And I, believe me, the factory did not. Well, some of you poor people that have been trying to remove them and they're glued down like a rock. Um, they, some people put a lot of glue on. And then other people only dip here, a dip there. and Okay. So next we're going to see who you're putting it on. Well, I'm going to try. So here we go for the... You've got to be very careful that you do not get any of her hair under, in the glue. Yes, under the wig cap, too. She'll have her hair styled after her hair is on. Pulling it forward more. And that's basically it. She's just going to make sure that she has it exactly where she wants it to B and then and then I do this. Yep. I, I gotta make sure it's right over here. Mm-hmm. Well you make sure it's right, and when we come back, she's going to actually have her hair glued on her head. It's a red letter day. Well, considering the nightmare I saw when we opened the box. Mm. Well, she's got a wig on. And it covers up everything. Yep. You really can't hardly see any of her little oh no problems. No. Okay. She's she's really good. But we have some show, show, to show you. You see this? Another one? That is an original thread coming from somewhere in this lovely Let's look for it. We haven't looked for it yet. You see it? So I imagine this sewed to Yeah, well, something. what she's trying to show you is that I'm going to have to go through before I um, style her hair right. and make sure that all of her hair is still stitched. Right. Otherwise, when we'll lose, I comb we'll it, hair. it'll come out. <laughs> we don't want that. We do not so want that. So I think we ought to take a really quick peek at how her dress is doing yes well here is her vintage dress we added some trim and then i added a back to her dress so you couldn't see through it and it's got um, embroidery so her dress is pretty much finished here is a slip that i've made i'm not totally finished with it yet out of vintage um Fabric. Uh, fabric, yeah. It was a but it, it was an outfit. It was it a baby. still is an outfit, actually, isn't it? It's a baby dress, yeah. I, I just... <laughs> and and then here is a vintage pair of uh, bloomers. And she wants the ties. So I will cut it off, put that on. She'll put pink ribbon in it. Yep. Pink bloomers. Yeah. Tie, tie pink bloomers. is actually your favorite color, not mine. But, but you take what I you can get. I <laughs> absolutely adore dotted Swiss. And if I didn't buy this ribbon for this dress. No, she didn't. I got this ribbon because it was on clearance. <laughs> 
and I brought it home and we, uh, well, oh my goodness, it goes perfectly. Just so, a little dab we need to do, spice yeah. it up a little bit. <laughs> so, you know, you never know when you, when you see something on clearance, it just might come in handy. One day. Yeah, well, a lot sooner <laughs> than I thought. A lot of days. So, and we're so going to finish up her outfit. Her outfit will be, bas going to be, be basically vintage. going to do her hair. And then guess what? Then we'll reveal whatever happens because we still don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> Our little sleeping beauty is going to be... She's looking pretty good. A wide-eyed beauty. Yes. Black She's hair. Looking, she's looking pretty good. All right. I think we ought to get ourselves to that reveal, don't you? I have a lot of work to do. I know it's going to be seconds for them. It's going to be a lot longer for me. Well, isn't it always? Yes. It okay. Is. But I think we ought to get to the reveal. Yes, I do too. Well, that was a marathon. No, it was a miracle. <laughs> Both starts with them, though. <laughs> yeah. And there's the face that I fell in love with. And she's all back together again. Where did you think that she would be? Did I think? Yeah. Yes. But I wanted the challenge. <laughs> she was a I challenge. Wasn't, I wasn't positive it would work, I, but I think I was 75% that we could fix her. Well, I think that her outfit, which we didn't plan on either. No. Is absolutely gorgeous. And look at that black hair. She it we, just turned out beautifully. Should but we tell them what happened when we tried it to was comb her hair? A challenge also. <laughs> All the most of the threads in her head had rotted. Yes. And I found that out today. Yeah. Yay. I suspected that last night and left a note for her. I said, don't comb her hair. <laughs> <laughs> if she had combed her hair well, you wouldn't be seeing what you're seeing now. <laughs> no. But honey, I'm this, so happy with this her. dress is probably this dress without the trim. We added the trim. Is probably a nineteen late nineteen fifties. That it's Swiss. That is Swiss. Uh, her socks are vintage, early 50s. Um, her panties are original Tonys. Her, wow. her, well, I can't show her panties, but her bloomers are vintage, but we put, Shantae wanted the ribbon trim. I happen to like it. She happens to like it. This is very old. This is probably from... Let's see the, more of it. It's it's the bottom of a uh, baby's gown from the 19, probably late 1800s, 90, early 1900s. I, I cut off the bottom, kept mm -hmm. the dress, okay. <laughs> so now it's a dress, and used it as a slip for her. And so everything that she's wearing, oh, her shoes are not vintage. You know what we haven't even discussed? What did we do? What haven't we discussed? The fact that her beautiful face. Oh, that, I forgot all about that. Is <laughs> now, our sleeping beauty is now back together. She's not cracked. Nope, she's not cracked anymore. Do you see that, folks? No. And so we'll put your hair back, sweetheart. Now watch here. What? She went from two cracks to no cracks. And mm. she's sturdy. Eh, she's gorgeous. We don't have to worry about her cracking again. Nope. She'll never crack again. No, well, actually, she was not planned for this week. No. And uh, we were having a difficult time with the one that you will most likely see next week. <laughs> oh, more than a difficult time and so she we did her instead it wasn't the doll that there was a difficulty no, it, no we, it's not. we got sent the wrong pattern right <laughs> but honey i'm absolutely head over heels in love we love her she's spinning on her own <laughs> well i hope everybody enjoyed this really long video and I hope that it was informative. Yeah, I hope this one was a help because it's a tutorial. Even though she went from cracks up her head to no cracks up her head, it's still a tutorial so that maybe some we can help somebody. And next week we do know what we're doing. <laughs> we are doing a um, Erin B. Nanette. Now, her video isn't terribly long but it was definitely hard. 
<laughs> she wasn't the challenge her dress was, but you shall see that next week. And I did want to say to everybody that we really did appreciate uh, leaving in the comments where everybody is watching us from. It was, it was really nice. It was, we, that made us happy. Yeah. We it, enjoyed it very much. So I wanted to thank so hi to all you, all you people that are in other countries and hi to all the people in our country. <laughs> we want to thank everybody for doing that. And if anybody else wants to tell us where they're from, we, we have some from Australia. We have some from Ireland, from UK. The UK. Um, I can't remember. Uh, there are more. Yeah, there's more, but thank you everybody. And, um, I uh, will see you next week. Oh, wait a minute. You have to say your little. Oh, that thing. Yes. Oh, just remember. It is possible. In this case, three people. To yeah, took three, it took three people. people for this one to be possible. <laughs> yep. But it is but possible. But it is possible to do, do it yourself. yourself. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>